Hi, I'm Jen Gallagher and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about white space. So I'm starting with a 12 by 12 sheet of white cardstock and to the left side I have stitched, you can see machine stitching on this, a pink border. This particular paper is from close to my heart. Now the reason why I did this is I'm going to fill up this side of the page. And one thing you can do is when you have too much white space, you can add a teeny bit of color to another side of your page. So this is going to balance the page out. And I will come back and point that out in a little bit, but let's go ahead and start building our page. As always, I will link you to any supplies that I have used that are still available on the video description below. If there's something that's out of stock, I might suggest something else. Okay, so a couple of different pattern papers. As I chopped my pattern papers, this was the main piece that kind of drove the color selection. And then I picked a beautiful yellow from Echo Park, and then this beautiful plaid. And I don't know if you can tell, but the centers of the flowers are actually not black. They're a deep navy. So think about looking for additional colors, and this was a leftover piece of pattern paper. I believe it's from Simple Stories. It was in my stash, and I like the look of it. So the blue and the, or the blue is three and a half inches by 11 inches. The yellow and the floral are three and a half by 10. So I will kind of alter the sizes a little bit. Let's make sure we get them straight. But I like to kind of play with the widths of things. Then we'll put this one right there. You can see that they're touching and it is a little bit smaller. And then the floral we will overlap. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space here without adhesive because I am going to tuck this little piece. And it was just left over. It literally was just this size. So can tell you it is probably about one inch by seven and a half and just a teeny bit of color so you can see all these colors work together now you can kind of see here why I added the pink there was a lot of white on this side which I wanted but I really love how the pink all of a sudden grounds all these papers I'm using a 5x7 photo and I've changed it to black and white and my daughter looks a little subdued in this photo and I'll explain a little bit in the journaling what story I chose to share because of the way she is feeling in this photo. So there's another collection. I can't, I believe this is Pebbles as well. I don't know that it was originally matching. I'll be able to tell better when I share the supplies, but it was close enough. And a lot of paper companies have elements that match, that work with additional collections. So you might buy something from one collection and find that it works for another collection. They tend to have color families. So this is an old American Crafts tag that I had in my stash. It's probably not even available anymore. So either create your own and then splatter some white on it or find a pink tag. To the top, I've just tied some white crochet twine. And I'll just layer that here. And I'm actually gonna cover that cat. It doesn't really go with the theme that I have. But before I do that, I have placed some Bella Boulevard letter stickers on a white piece of cardstock and I've notched the ends and it says lemonade. And this is going to be one line of my title. And then I'll show you how to add another line. I just wanna make sure we're not obscuring anything important. All right, then I have a half circle that I have punched from green cardstock. And we're going to place that behind the title. Now I'm bringing in a new set of stickers. This is the Florence Alphabet. They have them in lots of different colors and I bought them in almost every single color. And I'm going to finish off the title with these blue and all of the colors were inspired by that floral pattern paper 
This is such a cute letter sticker set. So you can see here that we have a two-step title. It has two lines. Think about adding a shape in a different color or font style and then a secondary one. Now I'm adding a couple of die cut leaves. These are actually just from my stash. Let me add some adhesive to the back. I usually get a die and then I'll cut a bunch of dies from it in colors and then I'll just keep them in my stash. But what I like about this is it adds a little bit of texture to this piece. All right, on the tag to cover up that cat, I have another one of these floral die cut pieces. Now on top of that, this is a very old piece. And I'm going to stick it just enough that you can still see the L. And it has hello. It's just crepe paper that's just been added to this. And then we'll add some more die cut leaves. If you don't have something like this, like a die cut or an element that I use, but you like it, look for something similar or hand cut leaves or stamp a leaf or something that you already have on hand. So don't feel like you have to get everything I have. I try to suggest what I have, but don't feel like you have to get everything. All right, on top of the tag, I have some stickers in pink. And I just went through my phrase stickers. This one says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. And that's gonna go right across my photo and that's okay because I you know how I like to marry everything. And then the next phrase says, let's remember this forever. You can see how that cluster is starting to come together. At the top of my photo here, I have a green paper clip and I have a fuchsia pink paper clip just to add some of that bright color up there. And then I have a couple of journaling strips. I like to do my journaling strips on craft cardstock. I think it is a nice neutral, plus it also grounds it a little bit. So like I said in the journaling, it talks about my daughter and how she's lost her brother and she's gone through some hard things like moving across the country and leaving friends. So the photo is actually from a different period in her life, but I thought I could write the story and then use that photo. So if you have a photo and it's from an event, but it expresses an emotion for a story that you want to tell, tell the story and use the photo. So we were at the zoo and she was tired and kind of feeling down and I decided to use it for this story about some things that she has been through. All right, to finish it off, I have a couple of enamel dots and we can add them in different colors here. Use some hot pink. And I usually like to do the small, medium, and large. I love the ones from Echo Park. Colors always make me really happy. And they often have them for several of their collections. And then just a few down here. And it's okay to tuck them up and underneath something. So I have this triangle cluster. So again, find a photo that tells the story, work with your white space, and you can see I have a lot going on here. And by adding this pink strip on the left, it just makes the energy of the page a little more exciting. Thank you for joining me for the scrapbooking process video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit jengallagher.com for additional inspiration.